All right, next question. What is a vapor barrier and when should I use one? That's actually two questions. But it is. Yeah, it is two questions. Um, vapor barrier. Vapor barrier is uh, something you would use if you were floating a engineered floor on a concrete slab. You never need to use a vapor barrier if you're um, doing it over a plywood. If you're doing something over plywood, you wind up nailing it anyway. But a vapor barrier is a, is a cushion with a plastic on top of it and they overlap so it keeps all the moisture from coming out of the concrete up into your wood. So what happens if you use a vapor barrier over wood? You don't really need to because in my, in my years of experience, if I'm going over a wood subfloor, I'd rather nail it anyway. Right. It's much cheaper one way to install yeah. it that way. Plus, I think it's just a more sturdy fold. Now, you would use a vapor barrier in like a 15 pound felt, but it's really not a vapor barrier. No. It's called that, but it's really there to, to grease the nails so they don't squeak later. People, people think that felt paper is a moisture barrier because they see people put it on their roofs before they put their shingles. Mm -hmm. But that has nothing to do. You put a piece of felt in water and it's going to soak the water's going to go all the way through it in time. Yeah. Uh, plus, when you nail through the felt paper, you're putting a million nail holes in it, which um, doesn't do anything. Unless it was self-sealing. Right. right. So one of the problems, reason we don't use a, a vapor barrier, a, a real vapor barrier over wood is because we need moisture to migrate. Okay. If it's coming up through the bottom, it needs to keep going. And if you put uh, a vapor barrier over a piece of plywood, that moisture is going to be trapped there. And over time, you're going to get a rotten floor. Oh, yeah. You're much better off. Let's get that moisture through there. So whether if we're putting down a floor that if we're floating an, an engineered floor, we would use a, a pad that does not have a vapor barrier or we wouldn't tape the joints. That's what you do in some of the cases. Now, if you are going over concrete floor, you would always tape that joint. Some of them are self-adhesive. Right, and you pull them overlap and right. sell their sales. Right. So that's, that's our story on that.